and the contributions of atherogenic ApoB-containing particles, particularly LDL and lipoprotein little a, in the development of early and aggressive atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis results from the deposition of cholesterol in the walls of arteries by particles known as lipoproteins. ApoB, of hepatic origin, provides the structural backbone of all atherogenic lipoproteins, which include VLDL, IDL, LDL, and lipoprotein little a. This is why ApoB concentration provides a direct measure of the number of atherogenic lipoproteins in the plasma. In the Atherosclerosis results from the deposition of cholesterol into artery walls by atherogenic particles known as lipoproteins, including VLDL, LDL, and LP little a. Lipoproteins consist of cholesterol, triglycerides, phospholipids, and proteins called apolipoproteins, which extend through the surface, providing stability while facilitating transport and other functions. Apolipoprotein B, or ApoB, is the primary apolipoprotein and thus the structural backbone for potentially atherogenic particles. Overproduction or underclearance of these ApoB-containing particles may cause hypercholesterolemia, increasing their deposition of cholesterol into the endothelium, potentially leading to atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disease. Measures of ApoB concentration are recognized leading predictors of cardiovascular risk, reflecting the importance of ApoB in atherogenic particles such as VLDL, LDL, and LP little a. Apolipoprotein B is part of the LDL or bad cholesterol particle. It's the part of the LDL or bad cholesterol particle responsible for binding to blood vessels, making bad cholesterol bind to blood vessels and leave their deposits of fat and plaque, which progressively builds up and causes the obstruction of blood flow to your brain or heart, which could lead to a stroke or heart attack. Since this apolipoprotein B is responsible for the bad cholesterol deposition in the blood vessels, studies have shown that it's actually an even better measure of risk than the bad cholesterol particle itself. Apple LDL receptors on the surfaces of cells bind to the apolipoproteins of LDL, allowing the cells to take up cholesterol through receptor-mediated endocytosis. When the apolipoprotein binds to an LDL receptor, the LDL enters the cell in a coated vesicle. The vesicle fuses with the endosome. The lower pH of the endosome causes the LDL to detach from the LDL receptors, which are then recycled to the cell surface. The vesicle then merges with the lysosome. The apolipoprotein is degraded now into amino acids and the cholesterol esters are converted to cholesterol. These components can then be used by the cell. There is a potential for ApoB to be a superior predictor of risk compared to LDL cholesterol because ApoB is present on atherogenic particles. We believe that there is one unit of ApoB present on each LDL particle. Now an LDL particle may differ in size. It may have a lot of cholesterol, a lot of lipid, or have less. But the fact is that that package of lipid is driven by ApoB, and therefore that ApoB can carry it into the artery wall to cause damage. The number of particles seems to be a better predictor of risk than the, than the amount of lipid in the particle. And ApoB predicts the number of particles, whereas LDL cholesterol... Uh,